October 2nd is the start of NHL season, but what's happening in the game? We got you covered. My name is Andrea Sachinke and you're watching the KHL Update. Welcome to Russia's Far East. This is Vladivostok and Admiral play host to Severe tonight. The two have already met twice this season getting a W piece. We go to Fetisov Arena for the action. The Viruses get on the board just out of 5 minutes in. The puck squirts out to Josef Ustinin down low and he puts it home from this chaos. It counts as Yuka Pelta and Mikhail Rochama draw the assist. The imports get the job done. Admiral beat Alexei Krasikov just a few minutes later, but it's waved off at the beater of you. This isn't handball, you can't score like that, come on now. The Sailors get a good one just a minute into the second. Dennis Vikarev nets his fourth of the season with a beautiful move as 20-year-old Ivan Lysin registers his first career KHO point on the play. Soon after that, give and go by Severe Pustin and shoots from inside, but Anson Krasakin slides across to make a save. We skip ahead to late in regulation. Captain Alexander Longinov turns the puck over. Josip Pustin and gets it at the right wing. He holds, he shoots, he scores! Great toe drag by the Finnish forward who scores his second of the night and sixth of the season. Hosted it scores the winner with just a minute remaining on the clock. Severe beat Admiral for the second time this season as they take it 2 1 on the road. We're off to Kazan now where Akbar's face is KS St. Petersburg. The Virsus won for two straight years at Tatnep Arena. We have straight to the second. Artem Galimov has left all alone in the slot. He gets the puck from Denis Zaripov, and that's just too easy. The Rooks cross his second of the season, and it's 1 0 Nogwars. A few minutes go by. Sergei Plodnikov gets the puck in the slot, but fails to put it past Adam Raiderborn. On team improves the late short left of that as Emil Galimov, no relation to Artem, scores his third of the year. Oleski can get on this one as a late goal by Alexei Bavaltsev. He scores his first of the season just under the bar in a power play. Not gonna be enough though. Ogbars win their fourth straight as they take it 2-1 at home ice. We go to another Tatars in town now. This is Nizhnikamskan tonight and have to keep it go up against Jokirid. There's not a lot of scoring in this one as well, and it all takes place in the third period. Henry Ikenen gives the Justice the lead six and a half minutes in. John Norman gets the only assist on the marker. Ikenen now leads Juckert with five goals, which comes as a bit of a surprise. Home side ties it up five minutes later. Alexander Brentsev shoots from the blue line, and it goes in. Looks like it goes in with a deflection. Yucker get the winner with just a little over two minutes remaining in regulation. Henry Ikenen and Sanaza for John Norman, he manages to put it in. That's his first of the year and that's all they need. Yucker take it 2-1 on the road. Hungry for goals? All right, let's go to Riga Latvia then, because there's an abundance of them there. Too bad for Dynamo fans though, it's pretty lopsided. Avangard score of the night for Alexander Salak, who is just signed with Riga. Maxim Chidinov open scoring with a slapper from the point. With 48 seconds on the clock, Sven Andre Gatto doubles the lead with a power play goal. Slava Voinov and Taylor back get the assist. Two and a half minutes into the second period, Sergei Shimakov sends another one past Salak from the slot. Back gets the helper for this great centering pass from behind the net. Two minutes later, and now the power play and another goal for Sven Andrigato. This time he scores of a solo effort. Some really bad news for Avangard after that. Maxim Chidinov gets his leg twisted all wrong in this awkward collision with Oskar Zbatna. Hopefully it looks worse than it is because it does not look good at all. Chidinov has helped up the ice and he did not come back. Late in the period, Nikita Sherbak finally scores his first career KHL goal. Lava Voinov with a great setup and that's his third assist of the game. Third period now, Brandon McMillan gets a double minor for high stick and Avangar scored twice in the span of 32 seconds. First, Taylor back dishes it over to Sergei Shimakov for his second of the night and seventh of the year. Back now has three assists in the game as well. And then Kirill Simeonov scores on the rebound while Sherbak gets an assist. 
Avangard scored four powerful goals on S-Man attempts and Riga blanked the home ice for the second consecutive time as Igor Bobkov earns his first shutout of the year with just 22 saves. 7 nothing is your final. Our final game is in Moscow as Severstal challenged Dynamo. There's very little scoring in this one as well. Nikita Klistov put Severstal in the lead just 45 seconds into the second period. The blue and white get back even only in the middle of the third. Igor Pelagalov redirects it home off a shot by Igor Zaitsev. That's his second of the year and he scored both with deflections. The game goes to the shootout and it's Vatoran Yuri Grubachov who scores the winner. Sarasov wins their fourth in a row as Vladislav Fadipovsky stops 45 shots. 2-1 shootout is the final. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow for five more games including Metalurg Locomotive and Red Army vs Vitas. My name is Andrea Sashinka, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.